hi there welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you the construction activities the quantity of material as well as its cost in today's times to bring these six units of two two bedroom flats from the dpc to the decking level stay tuned as we take you through the process so our setting out activity always starts by getting the longest wall by taking a clue from what we already have from the foundation uh, blocks then plumbing it up and getting that line from where we now square to get every other line so once we get that we then um, following the dimensions as is on drawing we mark out the spaces one after another bringing out the door spaces and then laying the blocks to the level required normally our first day of setting out blocks after the dpc is dedicated to only bringing out these spaces and by the time we are convinced that everything is as exactly is on drawing then we can start chalking as well as maybe if time permits add one or two, two more blocks to it this is to ensure that there are no mistakes and we take our time to ensure that all the spaces are rightly marked out before the counting of blocks starts On the second day of block work, the work moves faster because ordinarily it is just to lay blocks on top of what you've already marked out. And then um, once it gets to the window levels, we mark out the windows and of course the door space is already marked out as we were forming the blocks. So this is the second day of block where we have more workers now and the work is moving on, adding one block on top of another to ensure the spaces are well done. levels are based on the design but for this particular project the window level was after the third course of block that is why you can see that we marked out the windows after three courses of block and then the work continues of course taking us to the ninth course of block which will be the later level so at this point in the construction work we just create space like this one for the columns you know leave enough space um and keep laying the blocks such that by the time we are doing the lintel the iron workers would form the um continuation pillars for the columns and add them up then it is boarded and then the casting is done to uh, bind both the pillars and lintels the chain lintel together so that is how uh, the construction work is being done at this level so you can see here um, the spaces for the columns are all left open in readiness 
to receive the uh, continuation columns as well as the concrete work for it. Here, after the third day of work, um, almost all the walls had gotten to the lintel level. And uh, this ushers in the preparation for the lintel work, um, for the iron work and uh, concrete no, work, the carpentry work no, to start. So this is what we call leveling of block to the lintel yeah, level, yeah, where finish. every um, wall is taken to the ninth course of block. In preparation for the later. By the time all the walls get to the later level, that is the ninth course in this case, um, the first work that starts is the iron work, where the iron bender uh, forms the uh, the beams as well as the continuation columns and then places them in place after this is done then the carpenter uses a plumb level to get the level of the linter and then transfers that level all through the building that's why this is called leveling you know to ensure that when you do the decking, you are on a relatively level surface throughout the building. Because no matter how you see it, when laying blocks, there are bound to be some um, difference in height. It may not be much in some cases, uh, but we use this lintel and leveling process to ensure that by the end of the day, uh, the decking or whatever comes after it is on a relatively level ground. So here, during the lintel work, we ensure that the top of the lintel is relatively on a plumb level around the building. Now, this uh, implies that in some cases, you will see that uh, the lintel will be 9 inches here and in some other places it will be like 10 or 11 inches. This is to correct the top level so that the building will be balanced by the end of the day. And now, after this is done, then we use uh, some brickle blocks to fill the block spaces because we're using a hollow block here to ensure that the concrete does not go or go down the block. And after this is done, then the casting of the lintel begins. So, as we are casting the lintel, we're ensuring that the top level is at the same, um, getting the whole building ready for the leveling. Now, in our construction activity, we like doing most things in sections. For instance, you can see here, we had to cast the lintels in sections, casting one part of the building uh, at a time. Now, when this is done, as they are casting the other part of the building, block work can continue this side. And in some cases where um, we of course need to save some cost for the client we will have to reuse this board used for one side of the building at the other side even if we need to buy some more it will not be like buying 
double of what is needed but we just mean um getting some extra to complete what is needed so that as you lose these boards you can reuse them at the other parts of the building thereby saving construction costs and also working systematically so that as you are still casting lint at the other side block leveling has started this other side yeah just see what is happening here So for the leveling work in this project, we used three courses of block. And this is to ensure that by the end of the construction process, after the PUP is done, we still have a good headroom. Because you know that sometimes when you use two blocks, you see that um, by the time PUP is done, it, it, it eats off um, one or two blocks and that will make the headroom to be low. But in this case, if you give it three blocks, no matter what happens the headroom will still be high so that's what, what we try to achieve here by giving it three blocks yeah you can see here yeah, the uh, casting of linter is still ongoing at this other side while block leveling is going on at the back side now um by the time the leveling was completed it was observed that the following materials were used we they look for Pepsi, you see how they look for Pepsi. Pepsi Coke, we can't cool down. 47 lengths of 16mm rods. 65 lengths of 12mm rods. 60 lengths of 8mm rods. 4,000 pieces of 9 inches blocks. 140 bags of cement the 1 by 12 by 12 inches uh, wood was 120 that was used for that then the 7 tons uh, sand was 3 trips then um, 20 tons of chippings as well as a provision for the plumbing and electrical piping in all the cost of the total material used for this construction project from the foundation from from the dpc to the decking level in today's terms is a eight million six hundred and thirty three thousand naira that is the cost of the materials Similarly, the total cost of the label and the supervision, which includes the cost of the um, the, the messing work, the label work, the carpentry work, the iron bending work, the cost of laying of blocks, the cost of carrying the blocks, and of course the engineer's fee in this case was one million. 785,000 Naira. Now, this brings the total cost to bring this project from the DPC to the Deccan level to 10 million 418,000 Naira. Thank you 
for being with us this far and see you in our next one.